Hey guys, welcome back to Sharks Academy. And in today's video, I want to share with you the weekly market analysis for next week. So over here, we have the dollar index. We can clearly see that we have a break of structure here. We were targeting this area ever since, right? So yes, prices didn't come back down towards any of this demand and went through towards the top side liquidity, right? So ask yourself this question, where are we heading to? Let's go to the weekly time frame. Look at this inside bar. All right, this is uh, supply. Okay, not exactly inside bar because you see this is not inside this candle, right? So this is a buy to sell week, and this is where we are moving towards. So we can expect some sort of rejection on the weekly time frame over here. So you understand that we have this gap, right? This movement over here, about a dollar and fifty, right, towards the upside. So we are bullish into this area. This came from. A break of market structure <coughs> over here and we can also expect a move down before moving higher so this is just a general um movement and projection towards this area over here so if you are very confident then just wait for sales or do look for bearish movement onto the dxy if prices taps into this particular area of supply zone so this pullback right we do not know whether this supply is going to hold but do expect some rejection here and this reaction is going to give you a sell side move for dollar. Next up, we have the Aussie dollar. Again, on the weekly time frame, we have this movement over here. Right? Let's check the swing points. And now, made a lower low, broke this level. So this is a change of character, right? This T chopped up. And of course, we are looking towards this upside supply here. Okay, so this means that we can catch buys onto Aussie dollar on the weekly time frame, expecting a pullback before moving higher. So now this would be the demand. And let's go down to the lower time frame. Right. And you can see this is uh, a weekly demand. Let's go and look whether we can actually refine this area on the four hours, maybe. We have nothing here. Alright, all of these unstrong areas to buy from. Okay, then ultimately we want to buy low. You have to buy here potentially it's an inside bar it's really huge right it's really far away and we may not even expect a pullback into this level just yet so go down to the lower time frame and you can see we have demand here areas here so if you are one hour trader you're looking for this structure to hold right it is over here you are expecting this to hold so you want to catch buys anywhere inside here right because this is the weak Right, this is a sell to buy on the lower time frame. You want to catch buys here because it just broke structure. Right. And if this level fails to hold, we can expect a pullback onto the weekly demand. Right, all the way here. This lower time frame demand areas. This is where it actually has a potential to be met, right? Or to be tapped inside here. Because ultimately we change the character here. This entire leg is valid for a buy. So we can even buy here, here, here. All of these are valid because on the weekly time frame, this is the push. Okay, on the one hour time frame, this failure and this break of structure is potentially going to bring us towards the downside before moving higher again. So now, this is the one hour time frame, this is the sell to buy weeks. This should have a demand area on the lower time frame. Take a look at this. All right, demand area. You can even refine this towards the pin bar. We can go down to the lower time frame, 10 minutes, and refine this. So these two are areas as a one hour trader. I'll be looking for this buys, right, to continue the upside movement. Wait for a 15M change of character, look for a pullback, right, to an upside move. And similarly, over here as well, right, change of character, break market structure, pullback, get involved. Go down to the one minute or the seconds time frame if you want to. You can refine the 15M demand into a one minute, use the lower time frame to get involved in the market. All depends on you. What is your confirmation technique? So this is zero pound on the daily and we are extended right this is a break of structure this is the extended leg so really you don't want to sell here to catch the moves because all of these are selling low you are selling beneath the range right all of these are weak hands okay the moment prices change character all of this over here will be rent so really you want to sell on the sell here on the sell here right these are the two areas on the sell from and maybe go down to the lower time frame you can catch better sell areas inside here as well can you see this this is potentially a sell area as well all right so all of these are areas 
And of course, it's fine for us because we are looking for confirmations, right? If prices were to move back into the higher areas like this, then understand the fact that on the four hours time frame, this will be bullish into this area. And then you want to wait for your higher time frame to be aligned with the entire market structure over here. Because yes, we broke structure over here will be delivering bullishly. You want to wait for a breakdown, realign your four hours with the higher time frame, and then look for a pullback and then 15 minute time frame and stuff like that. All of this remains the same. Okay, do not get caught in the lower time frame movement inside of here when the structure is so huge and you trying to catch the lower time frame entries over and over again. Okay, and of course, this is due to preference. All right, if you are okay with that, go for it. Otherwise, expect the same movement here. You can refine this towards this on four hour supply. Look for a pullback. So, yes, this over here, understand the fact that you can use a lower time frame to look for confirmations because prices may not be necessarily respecting demand areas towards the upside into this level, right? We can just expect a move up like this and then use a 15 hand to catch sales. This is definitely possible. Depends on your entry technique again. So Euro Yen is rather extended. You can see this huge downside move, right? And then we broke structure at this level. So honestly speaking, if you want to sell, you want to sell inside here or perhaps over here, right? And where can you expect a move up into this level? Because you need some sort of basis for prices to move higher for you to sell again, right? Because this is bearish and this will remain bearish until we turn bullish. And we have to expect a bit of market structure here. So now let's see. This is a potential demand. This is also a potential demand. Here is a potential demand as well. Okay, this has been mitigated, right? We have no control over here. This is a demand. All right, there's valid breaking structure here. So yes, we can expect some sort of reaction at this level, right? But when you see prices started to deliver bearishly, this is the structure that you're looking at. This is internal structure potentially. Then a move higher. And this will grab liquidity towards the upside. So you want to see some sort of a higher time frame shift in the structure for sure inside here. Maybe you can go down to the daily time frame. Look for market structure to shift. You want to see a proper accumulation over here, like this, right? A breakout, pull back, then use a three-step process over here because this is the daily time frame. You can expect a demand here, right? And then this is where you go down to the lower time frame, like the four hours, the one hour, right? To look for market structure to shift once more breakout all right so now let's say this breakout is a four hours breakout of structure right and then now you have another three-step process because you understand that here may be a weekly or a daily right breakout structure or change of character and you find that that is way too huge right you don't want to get involved in the market on a weekly time frame so you want to position yourself to be a four hours trader and how do you do that you wait for a break on the weekly and then you position yourself over here on the four hours time frame expecting a pullback a change of character on the four hours just like this and then use the three-step process using a 15m shift in market structure towards the upside okay we do not necessarily need to participate over here on the weekly time frame because let's say we see a weekly breakout all right we see prices starting to shift over here we see a pullback okay because this is a week all right we can expect a bounce from this level so let's say we see this then we see a breakdown taps into demand break structure here so now at this point of time you have the liberty to go for buys right because the weekly shifted bullish over here you are trading the weekly time frame like this this is like 126 pips and that is way too huge you're gonna hold for perhaps a few days or weeks to even make a move into this liquidity highs just to get one is the 1.8 and that's not ideal for many people so how do you change this entire framework into a four hours into a 15m into a one minute so I went through this before. This is a weekly break of market structure. We can expect four hours to deliver cleanly. Step into this level, break market structure, and now you have a four hour range. Okay, so this becomes a four hour change of character. Wait for a pullback into demand areas on the lower time frame. Yep. 15 M shifts get involved in the market. And now this pullback. See how you change this entire framework. Instead of buying here, stop loss beneath the low, and then aiming for highs like this, you are now positioning yourself on the 15 minutes time frame, like this, to potentially run into these highs for 1 is to 10. 
all right and that is the difference this is how you actually shift the entire framework from a high time frame to a lower time frame this is how you use multiple time frame analysis to make a move into liquidity pools just like this over here so euro dollar you can see clearly this swing failed to break new highs okay so look at the context if prices were to deliver this manner right break market structure then this demand suddenly becomes a really strong demand because this demand indeed broke structure and is at the extreme right but you can clearly see this push fails to create high respected supply zone now this demand should fail okay and this doesn't mean that we don't expect a bounce from this level so now we are entering the demand area okay we can still expect a bounce from this level right so now this bounce is going to give us a play into a sell side move right because once prices breaks this low we expect a pullback a deeper pullback right into the range high before going lower and that's why this over here if it breaks this area right may not be a good area to sell because you are technically selling low based on the entire range right you're gonna sell high you're gonna sell here all right so now this sell over here would be awesome to push prices to break this level before a deep pullback before going lower again and we can expect some sort of reaction here all right let's go down to the daily time frame and yes we can expect a internal move internal structure right into any of these levels before moving downside so over here we have a weekly supply right by means of inside bar we have the wick over here all of these are possible areas to sell from right in order for us to take these liquidity lows if we expect an internal structure being created towards the upside otherwise really just wait for this area to be broken okay wait for this to be broken and then trade the cells above all of this these are equal highs going to get ran okay we're not going to participate over here we're going to sell potentially here as well right all of these areas are possible areas to sell from and this means that we have a huge range towards the outside we can expect buys right counter trend buys into this level before going lower next up dollar yen this is a sweep this is a break of market structure all right and now i'm going to be a seller on the sell here on the sell here so really on the daily time frame these are the two areas i'm going to sell from look for lower time frame shifts in order to make a downside move so now this is clearly in our favor right daily is clearly in our favor we have momentum in our favor we can expect a move down a move up into this supply look for lower time frame shifts immediately but what happens when prices starts to reach into this level and take out highs because this is considered a change of character right we want to see another change of character towards the downside and this tells us that okay now we are prepared or ready to move downside so we can expect this grab this level into this potential demand giving us a reaction because this demand failed to create higher high we can expect reaction from here to go lower over here we have the pound dollar similarly this over here appears to create high and that is why we don't expect this to hold into liquidity highs right so now we have broken through this level and we expect a break of this area can you see all of these weeks potentially support areas for the retail right and for smart money this is basically liquidity pool all right we expect a breakdown a pullback okay this is selling low understand that this is selling low otherwise you can expect a pullback into these areas before continuing lower it's the same process right can you see this over here when prices breaks down it mitigates this area continue to move lower and all of these demands over here will not hold because you are selling potentially low all right and then this when it's changed character when it started to deliver bullishly all of these highs will be used as liquidity into the extreme areas because ultimately you're going to sell at a premium area you're going to sell high of this range so we can expect the same thing right potentially sell over here make a move down then this entire leg right uh, is ready for sales especially when this high gets taken out all right this is just a projection right we may not know whether it is going to happen or not right we're going to expect a breakdown of course and then a pullback into this supply area to potentially catch sales just like this before moving higher using all of this as liquidity pools so the best area to sell of course let me remove all of these joints would be this over here right and this over here so of course this is going to be positioned at the best price right over here yes you can expect some reaction as well 
you can trade this and this may be your one is to you know seven or so running down towards this level before moving higher to go lower so yes this may not run into liquidity loss but this doesn't mean that it doesn't gonna it's not gonna fetch you money right we are not gonna take the high time frame and run the lows every single time we are gonna trade the internal range that is created over here use the three-step process grab liquidity lows before potentially moving to the next area to sell or buy from so we have the new zealand dollar you can see that this is a very clean daily supply right that book structure that grabs liquidity and now broke this level so yes if you're going to be a seller you're going to sell high you're going to sell at this area so now we are at our poi already okay so let's go down to the lower time frame i caught sales here all right so this week we caught sales here and over here as well so when prices taps into the daily supply area i went down to the lower time frame and understand that if prices wants to shift it may potentially shift from here okay so i was playing with the range understanding that the 15 minutes time frame is not going to guarantee me to run the lows right we, we need to see the high time frame shift and then use the lower time frame to be aligned with the lower time uh the low time frame right then to see the high time frame shift such that we can use the lower time frame to be aligned with the high time frame this over here when it shifts right you can see change of character broke down i got involved here so it's really small okay. let me just zoom in for you over here this is a flip can you see we see a break of structure towards the upside we see a tap into demand this demand is supposed to create a new high fails to do so taps into demand reaction breakdown this is a supply of the demand flip right this is a demand flip becomes a supply this over here buy to sell wicks can you see this here this is a buy sell i got involved here and this is of course the news movement on friday understanding that this is the extreme you could have used this as a py as well tap and go can you see so let me just break down how do i get involved in this buy to sell week here let me just change this color all right this gray zone can you see buy to sell I'll change this to blue and let's go down to the one minute time frame this is the one minute time frame okay this is a 15 minutes buy to sell week i use the 30 seconds and we find this one minute into this last candle here okay so let's just remove this and i went down lower to the 15 seconds time frame understanding that the 15 minutes is in my favor we have this pullback we tap strong sell side move broke structure here pull back get involved right my first target is of course this level and then i was trying to aim for this low to position myself into the news movement on friday i can't remember what news was that but i was positioning myself before the news such that when it runs i could be part of it all right understanding that i'm not trading it during i'm not opening positions during the news event i'm opening it before news event hoping to get involved with the news push if it went to my favor right and i mean it didn't happen prices stopped me out eventually i banked in one is to 2.3 partial heavily right i partial 50 percent trying to get involved here as well partial in another 30 percent and let the news potentially run towards like one is to 20 or so and it didn't happen too bad prices went all the way up into the extreme of the 15 minutes do you remember this is the extreme of the 15 minutes over here this is the extreme all right and this happened during the news of course so i didn't place a sell limit here this would be um you know trading news i don't do that i was looking for a change of character prior to this tap we see the first mitigation pull back try to make a higher high all right we wicked out and then break structure at this point of time i had my sell limit placed here okay similarly demand taps in fails to create a higher high this is the reaction this is the buy to sell week i did this stop loss above the high by 4.5 pips and then was trying to target those here okay and didn't get tapped in too bad so what do we do for new zealand dollar how can we catch sales understanding that this if it changes character we can sell into potential demand areas here because this is the swing structure right so now this is relatively equal highs over here expecting this to get ran 
Okay, I want to see a move up. Liquidate this level. Break structure. Pull back. Perhaps get involved on the one minute time frame. This is how I'm going to tackle New Zealand dollar to get involved. Selling into potential buy areas here because this grabs liquidity, break market structure, leaving behind the demand. This demand is definitely valid for buys, although we are playing into the daily supply. Am I going to be a buyer here? Not really. I'm buying way high the entire range. Can you see? You're buying high here. You're buying to supply. And this is why traders get very excited when they see you know break of structure, seeing a demand area trying to get involved, but they fail to put the entire market context into play, right? You're buying way high, you're buying into a supply, right? I want to wait for this demand to fail. Okay, so prices can indeed give you a reaction. You could get involved here. Makes a move higher, maybe not uh, liquidity highs, right? Maybe we, we see a reaction here. We grab liquidity here, then break down. I want to be a seller at this level because this is a flip zone. Prices steps into demand, fail to create higher high, reactor gives you an accumulation or a potential buy play, right? A bullish area breaks down, leaving behind a supply that was left unmitigated, hung back here towards this area, gives me a shift. I'll take a sell. Here we have the dollar Canadian. This is also really clean. You can see we have this huge buy up that grabs this retail support, uh, supply. Retail resistance and trend line, right? This buy up, then the breakout, leaving behind a supply area. We're looking for prices to shift. So indeed, it shifted on the minute time frame. Can you see? We took out lows, right? This is a very subtle low, right? Not the best. We have this break over here, and in fact, we have a demand at this level, right? Still holding. Can you see that all of these weeks are basically reaction, right? So this is an OB, okay? A demand area. We have to see reaction at this level and this is clearly reaction right if you see a move up liquidity this area right grabs liquidity break of market structure i am definitely going to be a seller yep because this sweeps liquidity right and break down leaving behind a supply zone this is a supply flip look for pullback get involved otherwise you want to play with the extremes right you want to get sales maybe higher into this leg let's say we are playing the 10 minutes time frame okay all of these are honestly not the best all right, we can expect a move higher, a last push phase, liquidating all of these positions, all of these highs. Can you see? Before a strong breakdown to catch sales here. This is definitely possible. So see what we get over here, right? I really want to expect a, a move higher that grabs liquidity first before breaking down. Otherwise, if prices were to break down from here, this is valid as well because prices indeed reacted. If you break down, this is the flip. We can use this to sell as well. So for dollar yen, I think it's the same thing as the previous WMA, right? We have this bullish movement, and this should run the highs. Let me move on this. This should run the highs here, right? And then we have equal lows here on the daily time frame. Okay, relatively equal lows. So we are expecting this to get ran because this is the buy leg. This demand failed to create a higher high, and therefore we are drawn towards this low. Perhaps getting involved here. Right? Remember, when prices breaks this level, this is a chop. Right? This is a change of factor. We're going to wait for another move higher before potentially taking buys to grab this trend line or relatively equal highs now. All right? Understanding that all of these are actually liquidity pools. Okay? Um, LQ and LQ here. So all of these will be used as future targets once we see a run down into these equal lows into some sort of demand here change character here on the higher time frame and then position ourselves to be a buyer into these liquidity pools so let's go and take a look inside here all right where are potential buy areas so eight hours mitigation okay so it depends on you you can use this inside bar of course using the 50 percent then it won't be mitigated all right or you can go down to the four hours time frame and understand the fact that you have this as your demand and maybe this as well right inside bar so we put it to the right over here so these two areas are places to look for right both are potential buy areas you want to see prices reacting to these areas right on the four hours or on the daily time frame high time frame would be better because prices indeed is going to run these lows if you're a change of character on the high time frame you want to see another change of character on the high time frame here before catching buys 
Lastly, for gold, where are we running towards? Right, it broke this supply, of course. You're gonna, as usual, you're going to get a reaction here, right? We ripped out. We're going to run towards all of these highs. Okay, all of these highs are now used as liquidity points. And potentially, this supply, right? You're going to get some sort of reaction at this supply zone. Whether it's going to hold, it's another factor. All of these will be used as liquidity points and targets if you already position yourself to be a buyer here. Okay, and of course, expect some reaction here. Otherwise, Look to get involved in buys for gold. Understanding the fact that this is the supply. All of these are reaction. Can you see? We broke down. We tapped in. We reacted. Broke structure. This is the bullish leg. And this is the flip zone. Okay. Let me just remove all this. Alright. So. Follow the price action. Follow the movement. Alright. We broke this area. We changed character. Right. We make a move up. Taps into supply. This supply is supposed to give us a lower low. Failed to do so, reacted. This is the reaction. And if it breaks this level, this entire area is the block. Okay. You can even use this as your buy area if prices breaks this level. Comes back down, three step process, 15M chop, get involved. Otherwise, play the lower areas. All right. Go down to the lower time frame. Look for uh, lower demand areas. Can you see that all of these are tapped in? Except for this area. Okay, so this is very hidden. Okay, we didn't get mitigated here. And this is a trend line. Alright, liquidity pool. This may be the last area to buy from. Okay, if prices breaks this high. I'm going to look for this flip and this area. So all of these shouldn't be holding. Okay, we're going to look for these areas to buy from. I'll color this as red. And this. So understand the fact that this is an inside bound on one hour, and this is a buy to uh, a sell to buy week, right? On the four hour time frame, and both are definitely valid to buy. You can place a limit order if you want to. Otherwise, use the um three minutes change of character or even the one hour if you are more conservative. Okay, and it doesn't mean that prices is gonna uh only turn from here, because the entire push phase that breaks this area comes from here. This is the low that created the high. All right, you can indeed look for buys. Here, all right. But if you are a trader using the flip zone, then this is the flips. 